Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey at Ripe Color. And this is Nancy Jean in the Garden. This is the Daily Duo. If you're new, we uh, both read on five energies. I read cards. Nancy Jean reads uh, crystals. The energy, the, these are the energies for the day. And the topics are body, mind, uh, spirit, grounding, and clarity. Uh, we both offer private readings. We both offer physical goods in the physical world. I'm a textile designer. I make t-shirts and scarves, etc. Nancy Jean has uh, grids and gardens for sale. Um, I also offer IET, which is a healing modality, which can help you to move energy. And uh, if you become a member of my uh, YouTube, you get to watch the uh, weekly tarot readings for all 12 signs. It's $2.99 a month. Please join. That's our marketing. Let's get to the reading. All right. Let's get to the heavy <laughs> duty stuff for the day. All right. Oh, good. All right. Um, all right. We, well, we begin with the page of, uh, cups. So I, I kind of like him. Um, you know, he's very sweet. <laughs> he's very sweet. He's very, uh, there's something naive about him, but he's very, um, genuine. There's a real, he's very genuine. Um, and he leads with his heart. So this is, I think this could be something new in your body. It's almost like, uh, there's this understanding of your body and it's like, I really want to love you. So maybe it's about, you know, eating in a different way. Maybe it's about, you know, like going for a nice long walk or sleeping extra. Like that's the end. It's this energy of self-love actually. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of mind, very interesting. We get the end of a way of thinking. Mm -hmm. This is the end of a way of thinking. And it's almost like our minds... I don't know if this is a good metaphor, but it's almost like our mind, it's like, it, there's only so much you can hold in your head. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's like, sometimes you just have to get rid of stuff so that new stuff can come in. And that's really what's going on here. You know, it's a 10, it's completion. A new dawn is rising. The, the past is, is um, unrevivable. Is that a word? It is now. Okay. And then for spirit, I mean, you're in the church. That's a good thing. <laughs> so there's this creative energy. It's a three. You're in the church. So, but I think it has yet to be revealed, but something is brewing because, you know, I think first we're here. So we're sort of like, okay, well, that's done. And you sort of take a breath and say, but well, where do I, what, what do I want to, how do I want to move forward? And that's, I think what's going on. It's sort of like, it's not oh, 100% there, but it's getting there. Then for grounding, I have the empath. So again, being like, I think your body is going to really lead you or your instinct is really going to lead you toward what's the best action, what's the best um, uh, plan, right? But I, mm -hmm. I think you could also be getting messages, right? You could be getting intuitive messages it could also, it could be in your body or in your mind or in both. That would be, it. when they're both aligned, then you're really on target. Mm -hmm. And then for clarity, I get the beautiful Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. So basically for me, what all the Aces are, because it's these weird hands floating around in the ether, right? And just sort of showing up. I, feel, I always feel like they're really gifts from spirit. I always feel mm -hmm. like an Ace is a gift from spirit, all of them. And this is, this to me is always saying, we love you unconditionally, no matter what you do. We love you unconditionally. You know, do whatever you need to do. We, do, we love you. We love you. So there's almost this sense of, um, you know, okay, so you had a way of thinking that's gone. You know, you're sort of forming something, but it's like, we love you. We love you. We love you. You know, can you love you as much as we love you? That's what I have to say today. Okay, well, what I've got, that. I I've start, once again, I start out here with grounding and our grounding's out here in air all by itself. And it's saying mental actions are the path to your abundance. What's going on in your mind is where you're leading you to. So we're going to go find out where the mind is. 
And the mind's kind of in a funny place. It's called restate. And restate, for those of you who don't understand what the words in the garden mean, restate really means there's so many options that you have to go through and pull out all the weeds and find the one right path or find the couple right paths. And in this case, with where the mind being over there, it says, thinks of how your situation is viewed, think and rethink. And your spirit is somewhat tied to the past. Thoughts from the past are clouding you a little bit, but you're moving more towards transforming, but not yet finished. So there's a whole lot of thinking, rethinking, reforming, like what you saw in your things. And the body is in definitely in the past. And the body is sitting out here um, thinking about, about how it's tying together, together with its karma. And it says, look at previous forms that have served you well, but that you can embody the best forms of what served you. That's what that combination of spaces with body means. But clarity sitting right in the middle of fire, which is south and ancestors. And it's saying, use the ideas you carry from your past forward to current solutions. So it's telling you, you've got the ideas inside you, but you need to consider which ones you want to pick from, because we all have a lot of different things we've brought forward. But this is saying that you have the energy to bring it forward and to make you usefully. Yeah, it's interesting when you say it, because I got all this love stuff, right? And and you're getting like, okay, it's, you know, it's sort of... Mental. Yeah. So I think that the way through it is probably to turn to tune into, you know, positive. Your heart. Yeah, the positive message. Lead, lead your um, head. Right. right, right. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, because that would be a combo, and and also, you know, for me, like this is where I I, I come from. I, I, let this, I let this be in charge, and I let this one follow that one. Yeah, well, these had an eighth of an inch to get into heart, and they didn't go there, so. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Tip the board, kick the board. Okay, well, we'll right. see you again tomorrow. Blessings. Blessings.